Hi, I'm Melissa, head of e-commerce content. Now that your store is all set up and you've started receiving your orders, let's go over how you actually fulfill those orders from shipping, fulfillment, and more. In this lesson, you'll learn how to manage and fulfill your orders, print shipping labels, refund and cancel orders, as well as view and use key store analytics. First, we'll go over how to manage and fulfill your orders. Basically, it's what you do from when an order comes in to when you send it out to your customers. So from your Wix store's dashboard, you'll automatically see a quick overview of everything related to your store. This includes your revenue, the number of products you've sold, and the number of transactions you've completed. To view your store orders, you're gonna click store orders, then orders. From this page, you'll see your order number, the date of purchase or the transaction, your customer details, as well as the payment and fulfillment status for the order. What's great about this page is you can also filter your orders by the status or the time frame that you've received orders. And you can search for specific transactions. Now we'll go into fulfilling and shipping your orders. Basically, what that entails is how you send out your orders to your customers. So first up, shipping. Let's go to your Wix store's dashboard, click settings, and then store shipping. First, you'll define the regions that you ship to, and you'll select how your shipping rates are calculated, whether or not it's free shipping, flat rate, by weight and price, or the carriers that you choose to use, or if you want to offer in-store pickup or not. Then you'll add your estimated delivery times as well as shipping rates. Next, we'll go into printing shipping labels. From your Wix Stores dashboard, click Store Orders, select an order, click Create Shipping Label. Then you'll input your shipping label details. This includes the ship to address or your customer's address, the shipping carrier details such as the ship from address, the type of package you're using, the weight, service, and the value of your package, and then the package description if you're shipping internationally. This is really important for customs. And the next all you have to do is pay and print your shipping label. Now we're gonna talk about product packaging. This is kind of the fun stuff where you get to really get your branding on the material before you send it to your customers. Product packaging is really important because it gives your package a personal touch before you send it to your customers. You can personalize it with your own brand, your own logo, or you can write like custom letters, like a thank you note to your customers. If you're using a drop shipping service such as Modalus, Printful, or Printify, oftentimes these services will let you ship white label. So that means they'll let you include your own branding on the products before they send it out to your customers. With Wix, you can also split your orders. So say for example, you have one product ready to go, but you're waiting on another product from the manufacturer. You can send out the item that's ready to go straight to your customers. so They're not left waiting too long. And then when the other item comes in, you can send that to them as well. Once you have your shipping label printed out and added to your package, add your tracking number to the order. So to do that, you'll go to your dashboard, store orders, select an order, and click add tracking number. Next, you'll just wanna make sure that your order shipping confirmation emails are ready to go. So go to your dashboard, settings, store settings, order email notifications. It's a good idea to have this set up so your customers are always in the loop and they know exactly where their product is at all times. If you're using a drop shipping service like Modalist, Printful, or Printify, they'll take care of all the shipping and order fulfillment for you. Having to cancel or refund an order is a big part of an online merchant's job. So let me show you how to do both. To cancel your order, go to your Wix Stores dashboard, click Store Orders, select an order, click More Actions, and then Cancel Order. If you want to issue a refund for a customer, go to your Wix Stores dashboard, Store Orders, select an order, click More Actions, and then Issue Refund. As you'll notice, under Order Activity, you can add notes for yourself or for your team so that you guys can always stay on the same page with where you're at with the customer and their order. Finally, let's look at your analytics. Your analytics are a big part of how you optimize and grow your business. To view your analytics, go to your dashboard and click Analytics. You'll see two site views, one for site traffic and one for store activity. Under site traffic, you can see your site visits over the past four weeks. You'll also be able to see the unique visits, bounce rates, which are basically if a customer lands on your site and then decides that this isn't for them and they leave automatically, as well as forms submitted. 
You'll also be able to view your key traffic sources and the devices customers are using to shop your site. And then on the store activity tab, you'll be able to see your orders, your conversion rate, revenue, the top products that you have that are selling. My favorite part of this dashboard is the purchase funnel. This will show where your customers are at from when they land on your site to actually check out. And you'll be able to see where your customers get lost along the way. So this is a great tool to look at and try to optimize your checkout flow for your customers. Also on this page, you can see your top email marketing campaigns, your best customers, and you'll even find some additional tips on how you can improve your store sales. Here are some final tips for your online store. It's always great to include policies for your business. This can include your refund policy, your shipping policy, privacy policy, and terms of use. This is a great way to create transparency with your customers so they know exactly what to expect from your business. Additionally, you should always include an FAQ page. This gives your customers answers to those, their most frequently asked questions. So try to anticipate what your customers may want to know about your products or about your business and answer them so they know straight away. What's really great about Wix is you can manage your entire business from one place. Thanks for watching this lesson and check out the next video in this course.